Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how you make a palm tree in Blender. Since my last tutorial did a lot better than I expected, uh, I'm gonna make a new one. So, uh, I'm gonna be using M-Tree, which is a free add-on for Blender, uh, which I'll leave it down in the description. And um, it looks like this, you come to this page and you just click this to download it. Anyways, once you've downloaded it, uh, it uh, you should split the view right here and change this to M3 node 3. So basically, uh, M3 is a node based, um, I guess you could say, tree generator. So basically, you have these nodes and you connect them to create a tree. So actually, I'm not gonna be using that much of M3. I'm just gonna delete the branch node right here and uh, click create tree. I should probably also delete these so we don't have a bunch of objects in our scene. This tree is very big, it's very long. So we need to put the length down about 10 and uh, I'm also gonna click auto update so we can see our changes. And um, I think this is a pretty good radius for the tree. So I'm just gonna uh, Put up this shape a bit, not that much. Um, and I'm gonna put the end radius a bit about to 18, something like that. And uh, actually, I'm gonna put down this length a bit more. There we go, that looks good. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna click final here so we get our uh, final tree. And I don't know what it did. Um, excuse me, All right there we go. Um, once we're done with that, uh, I'm gonna create a icosphere. So this is gonna be the top of our palm tree. So if I look at my reference here, as you see in this palm tree right here, you kind of see it's big, a big sphere. So that's basically gonna be the icosphere. So let me create it again, just to show you. So if you click this arrow right here, you can uh, choose the amount of uh, sub uh, subdivisions. I'm gonna go about to four, then I'm gonna move it up and uh, put it right here. It's a bit too big for my liking and I'm gonna scale it on the Z up a bit to make it a bit longer about there and I'm also gonna go to the modifier tab and add a displace and I'm gonna click new here to create a new uh, texture and I'm just gonna choose clouds so this is a bit too much I'm gonna turn down the strength a bit also I'm gonna shade smooth right click and then click shade smooth and then I'm also going to throw in a subdivision. That looks good. So now I'm gonna be importing a. Uh, gonna s I'm using a Quixel Bridge uh, and a Quick Quixel Megascans uh, library. Um, you can download it for free if you sign in with um, an Epic Games account. So I'm gonna click export and this exports to Blender right there. And then I'm gonna create a new plane. Move it to the side. Scale it on the X. About there. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the material tab and select the plant. Uh, something, something. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I actually don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I'm gonna add a arrow right here, and I'm gonna move it to the side like this, and I'm going to go to the plane again, add a modifier, and add the UV project, and I'm gonna select this, empty as the object and then choose the UV map. Then I'm going to go into shading view 
and uh, I'm going to scale this up a bit so you'll see uh, this kind of um, basically this projects to the to the UV so I'm gonna scale this about there uh, so I get this leaf alone and uh, doesn't interfere with the other leaves like that and I'm gonna scale it up a bit and this as well like so I'm also gonna move this um, edge up a bit to get it towards there and that's looking good what I'm gonna do now is add a lookout and um, in the middle of the plane and then I'm gonna add about let's say six uh, loop cuts uh, on the other side and I'm gonna go into vertex and I'm just gonna move all these vertex vertices to the center of the of the leaf like this just quickly gonna do move them all to there and somewhere around there once you've done that you can just click alt in edge mode and click the center and it will select the whole uh, spine I guess you could call it um, so I'm gonna move this up so you kind of get this nice um, uh, curved um, leaf once you've done that I'm just gonna go ahead and move this a bit closer there I think that looks good then I'm gonna go into the shading tab and I'm just gonna quickly zoom to this and um, I'm gonna change this to this so it just makes it uh, like to the correct socket because um, for some reason in this version of uh, uh, I think it's MC link uh, for blender it does some weird stuff with the material all right so now let's add a particle system to this um, top thing right here let's just call this the top and this may be yeah I guess yeah we could call it the trunk perfect now I'm gonna add a particle system to this and I'm gonna set it to hair and you'll see we get a bunch of uh, a uh, bunch of hairs uh, so I'm actually gonna go back to layout and zoom in on this and then I am going to go to weight paint and paint the top like so I think that looks good yep yeah, perfect I'm gonna go out of weight paint and then I'm going to go to the particle settings right here and uh, find um, where is it vertex groups so you're gonna click this just click here and click group and you'll see the top part uh, will only emit the hairs um, so once you've done that uh, you want to turn down the amount of hairs a bit and once we go back to our thing here we need to select the cursor right here and click uh, in the root I guess you could call it um, oh camera is doing weird things all right so right click and then um, that origin origin to 3d cursor so what this does is when it emits this uh, this will be the spawn point so if we would have um, not changed it every time uh, we spawn um, like instance this leaf it would spawn in the middle so that would look pretty weird uh, but anyways 
let's go into the render and change the path or the render as from path to object. And then we can just do this little drop thing and add it to the and click it on the plane. Uh, then I'm gonna oh, too much. I'm gonna scale it up a bit, and you'll see we kind of have. Uh, you get the idea. We kind of have a arm tree already, um, but uh, I want to set the scale randomness to around. 0.5 to get some more randomness in the oh, I think that's too big about that size so <clears throat> if you go to hair dynamics this was basically yeah simulate sim simulate oh my gosh I can't speak today uh, anyways you will see it looks pretty weird but this is a really important step which you have to do. Uh, and you have to click Control A, and then All Transform. And then if you go back here, it will fix itself. Yeah. So you wanna find a good frame. Um, I think this is looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks it's pretty nice. Um, so I'm gonna just stop it right there. All right, so once we've got this, uh, you've like found a nice frame uh, for your palm tree. Uh, we could add materials to the um, to the trunk and the top. So I also used um, mega scans here as well. If I just go into surfaces, I'm just gonna quickly export uh, a material real quick here. There we go, and then I'm going to go to the material and uh, select palm bark. Once you once you've selected it, you'll see pretty nice uh, material, and I'm gonna do the same for the uh, top. But I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna click this um, click this, and you'll create a copy of the um, of the material. Um, so, why I wanted to duplicate it is because I want to make this a bit darker. So, what I'm going to do is actually move this backwards a bit. So, I'm going to remove the ambient occlusion right here. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to change this to mix. And I'm going to... Turn this to completely black, and I'm gonna. I think that's about right. And uh, you could add some um, displacement to this if you duplicate this. And I'm just quickly gonna go into the displacement right here. Oh, I forgot displacement node. Uh, object space is fine. They should go to the height. Yeah, you can play around with the scale, but you won't see anything in the EV because EV doesn't support this node. Um, but cycle does, so I'm gonna quickly go into cycles. Gonna change this to GPU because my GPU is faster in rendering scenes. So after that, I am going to the material tab quickly gonna go down to settings change this to displacement only and this enables displacement in cycles so if i go <clears throat> in rendered mode you'll see it looks pretty weird but that's because we don't have any lights in our scene so i'm gonna go to the world settings click on color right here on this little dot here and then i'm going to go to sky textures and uh kind of turn down this so it's not that intense so if you look here this looks a bit weird with the you should look directly at the sunlight and that's one problem also with them um, how um mc links uh, connects the material so basically 
The translucency always connects to the trans uh, trans transmission, which is not correct. And um, as you see in the name, it says translucency and not transmission. So what you want to do is add the translucent mode. And I'm going to add a add shader connected there and connect the translucency to the <coughs> color right there. Then from there, I'm going to add a mix RGB and I'm going to change the, oh, sorry, I just click there and I'm going to click multiply. Once you've done that, uh, you should get the opacity. I'm just going to copy here with a uh, shift D and it duplicates it. And I'm gonna connect it to this socket. Uh, does this do any difference? I think. Hold on. Yeah, it's working. So you just turn this all the way up like that. If you turn it down, it will look like this super weird. Anyway, once you've done that, you'll see if you look directly here, uh, it kind of looks like the, um, the sun is shining through the leaves which looks pretty nice. Yo, it's me from the future. Uh, while I was editing this video, I found a new simple trick to make this um, tree look a bit more realistic. So you'll see this tree right here. It, uh, it kind of, like the palm leaves go straight out. Um, if you look at the references, they, they're all bending because of the gravity. So what you want to do is... Um, uh, take your 3D cursor and put it here. And then we can actually add a armature or armature. And uh, let's go into edit mode and then move this like so and move it uh, through the oh kind of fucked up here. Um uh, anyways, uh, you want to follow these uh, this edge right here with the um, with the uh, armature and whoops I okay, see and you want to put it yeah something like this just extrude it simple like that and uh, let me move this up a bit like that once you've done that you can yeah uh, select the object first and then the armature and then with automatic automatic weight and uh let's see here if it works uh, yeah so basically what you want to do is just add a bit of bending to this just bend it a tiny bit like this that's quite a lot but and you'll see it looks a lot more like a um, palm all right thank you